podcast, News 18, weather from where you live. We talked on the block today and on the casts yesterday about how we've got to watch that one to two inch band of rain in southern Indiana. And I think it's going to be here tonight. I really do. And I'll tell you why. We've got this polar jet in this position, subtropical jet coming up from the southwest. And in between, there's a little split there. We call that difluence. And that really forces the air upward, and that makes rain. And a lot of times it can make violent storms. Well, there is going to be violent weather, but we've got the streamers, the showers, even a couple thunderstorms kind of forming over the same area in that diffluence out here in Missouri, western Illinois. And everything is kind of being funneled, you can see, to the northeast. So I think a good inch of rain tonight is a good bet. Some places more than that. You can see this being funneled in from the southwest. A lot of rain here. Even a few embedded lightning strikes. There could be an isolated thunderstorm mixed up in, uh, mixed up in this in our area tonight. A lighter rains in our southern counties, but steady moderate rain at Lafayette and Frankfort. Raining at Kokomo. It's raining from Peru, Logansport, all the way up to Winnemac. Also, some pretty heavy rain just north of Goodland and Ketlin up towards Morocco and from Watsika headed into near the Earl Park area. And the rain goes all the way back, to, uh, back into central Illinois. Uh, another thing is there is cold air behind this. I mean, we've got hard freeze warnings down into North Texas tonight. Record breaking cold weather freeze down to Oklahoma City. And as the cold air catches up with the rain in the morning, I would not be a bit surprised to see a few snowflakes in Benton, Newton, Jasper County as we drop to the 30s there. But 6 a.m., 42 generally speaking, West Lafayette area, Lafayette. Uh, 48 at midnight. Right now we're running in the upper 50s though, but we need to shut the rain off to get in the fields, and it's going to take some time. Uh, we're not talking flooding rains, but just enough rain to keep it wet around here. Showers, isolated storms tonight. Showers ending tomorrow, then the cold snap with two nights of a uh, light freeze. And then much warmer with showers and storms Saturday. And then again Tuesday night, and then cooler again after a really big warm up. 30s from Rensselaer, Remington, Fowler to Pine Village tonight. 41 at Lafayette, 42 Frankfort, 41 Burlington, Camden. Tomorrow, upper 40s to low 50s. That's it. And a lot of wind, too, as the rain pulls away. Dry, windy Thursday. 51 Winnemac to 53 Lafayette and 54 at Attica. On our high res feature cast, notice the showers, isolated storms tonight. There's 1230 and even into tomorrow morning. You'll notice here still some scattered showers around and yeah, even a little wet snow may try to mix in in our northwest counties. But then the showers exit. That's two o'clock in the afternoon and then we clear out later on tomorrow. And with clearing skies tomorrow night, we'll drop to right around freezing, but not after a good inch of rain for the entire viewing area. And some places in between will get, you know, pushing two inches, but notice about an inch and a third Pine Village, 1.2 Lafayette, and around an inch and a quarter towards Covington and Delphi. Now, that's not going to lead to, uh, you know, flooding per se, but what it's going to do is just cause more, more ponding in fields and keep creeks and rivers, you know, slowing the process of them coming down. Warmer Friday at 63, 67 Saturday at 81 Monday. We will watch the severe threat Tuesday night, though. All right, well, it's at least nice to know that we're warmer than Texans tonight, uh, yeah. right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, 89 yesterday, Amarillo. Today, 30. Wow. Man. How about that? Holy.